Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. It's a joy to see all of you as I share devotion with all of you. It's an honor. I want to share with you today and entitle my devotion as Begin with Prayer. Begin with Prayer. I want to read from Daniel chapter 10, verses 2 to 3. It says, At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat, or wine touch my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. You know, when it comes to assembling new purchases, we think, when all else fail, read the directions. The Christian version of this approach says, when all else fail, pray. Sadly, when we are faced with a need or a crisis, we try everything, everyone, to help solve it on our own. And when our efforts fail, we finally come to our senses and succumb to prayer. This wasn't Daniel's approach when he had a vision of a great conflict that was to take place in Daniel chapter 10 and verse 1. He was greatly burdened by what he saw. So what did he do? The Bible says he immediately set himself apart to seek the Lord. For three weeks, he fasted and prayed for greater understanding of the vision he had seen. A heavenly messenger came to him to answer his prayer at the end of the three weeks and granted him the understanding he sought and prayed for. Let us follow Daniel's example by beginning everything with prayer. Meals, our day, meetings, problems, sickness, struggles, challenges, hurts, misunderstanding. Let us pray without ceasing, as Paul told the church in Thessalonica, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. Let us pray without ceasing in everything before we go and do things on our own. Corinne Ten Boon said, Any concern too small to be turned into a prayer is too small to be made into a burden. One more time. Any concern too small to be turned into a prayer is too small to be made into a concern. If your problem is too small, that is not a concern. But let me say this to you. Whatever small or large that prayer, the need, the concern may be, turn it to the Lord. You'll be amazed what God can do to you in your prayer. Amen? You have a great day and God bless you. Remember, begin every day and everything we pray. Father, bless your people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings to you and family.